Hello guys, I told you to give me some report about what you want to do. I know that uh, most of you are not Italian, so you want uh, English videos, but also I have 30% uh, of my subscribers Italian, so I also want to do Italian video next. I ask you what to do in my next video, so thank you for help guys, really appreciate it. So it's 50-50, I guess I have to do this video in English and in Italian. So let's start from the English side because I have more not Italian subscribers. <coughs> it, it also is what uh, I want to do because uh, I prefer to do videos that everyone can appreciate. So let's talk about 6.0. We have some topics to talk about, so economy. That means like Kina, Bullion, Kuna and Broker. Uh, we have to talk about PvP in 6.0. We have about to talk about the gear in 6.0, uh, about PvE in 6.0 and about to end game content. And also we have to talk about pay to win or not. So the problem in 6.0 uh, it's that we will be hard for you to farm Kina in game so um, <coughs> you have to think about that you can farm Kina only doing a weekly quest so right now I have everything done so you have no more to do uh, if not doing PvP daily quest that you can do in every camp so you actually have a lot of time to do this pvp quest every day <coughs> it's also fun because you can find pvp everywhere in this patch but we, we will talk about uh, it later so let's start from economy so so from kina you can farm these in weekly pvp and pve quest and from mobs, you can farm these mana stones that can sell you on broker. So actually, mana stone can be sold on broker and give you a, li a really high amount of kina because uh, I actually sold some mana stone for six, five, and uh, one million kina. In this patch, think about that uh, one million kina. It's a high amount of kina. So just think about the costumes. You can farm costume with Kina in game. So think about this type of skin actually cost on a U uh, 200 million Kina, 105 million Kina. So 10 million for this patch, it's like 100 million, 200 million. So thinking about that, you know that actually it's hard from this amount of Tukina because every quest gives a really low amount of Kina I think like with five quests you can do even not uh, half million of Kina so <coughs> it will be hard for you to farm Kina in game then with this um, Kina shop you can farm everything you need for this patch for, so the transformation uh, scrolls not confused with the contract transformation scrolls that it's like this one so it's really expensive this one actually this is fair so uh, for this amount of kina I think it's a fair amount uh, uh, of kina to buy this cross so when actually you will have a good transformation scroll <coughs> I can show you what I got I only got uh, high uh, contract uh, scrolls that give fair uh, enough to actually play mm, but also think about that a PvP player can have this legendary uh, transformation that it's really high <coughs> so there's no competition from a player that can use legendary scrolls or a player free to play that actually can use only this one 
of course you can farm these items in game and you actually can have access at least to ancient and legendary if you lucky but uh, it's not fair but if this is the only pay to win content in the game for me actually it, it's legit the problem is that uh, it's not only about that it's also hard to farm this Kina in game as I told you because the only way it's to farm weekly quest and uh, grind mobs to farm milestone actually you can do it but uh, I think it's not fair at all also think about that uh, to do to farm PvP uh, enchant you actually can do siege um, this enchant the the gear you can farm uh, in these camps so the camp gear uh, you can disenchant and have the enchant stones on Korea there's the the Shugo in the center of the map that give you uh, quest every day uh, PvP quest every day so you can actually farm PvP and PvE enchant from that Shugo also <coughs> for PvE you need actually to do also the PvE quest because there are also a PvE gear from uh, the camps or doing uh, Bastion of Soul at, uh, for example and uh, farm uh, uh, gear and disenchant the problem is that it's really uh, difficult to have the gear to go in Bastion of Souls like actually we built a party uh, some days ago with the uh, campaign gear of course and actually we feel about uh, it's impossible even to do the healing uh, quest uh, part with uh, this gear actually right now I have this new gear from the camp and I have upgraded this orb and actually now I start to, to one shot some mobs that uh, I was not used before so I think that upgrading gear and uh, having uh, a lot more magic attack it will change a lot your damaging game I have also to check about uh, how much the damage increase uh, upgrading the PV damage I have to check about that <coughs> so uh, as we know for a new player it will be hard even to do the only instance that give you a good gear that it's Bastion of Soul because uh, Mirage Sanctum it's useless uh, um, it's useless give you nothing uh, Cradle of Eternity give only uh, some PvP 75 gear uh, um, that it's also useless because you have also uh, the campaign gives to you already the 75 but it's useless and actually you cannot disenchant this gear so it's fucking useless you have me frozen monolith that in this patch at least uh, some good guy went in frozen monolith and they actually even uh, cannot uh, reach uh, the boss fight so for for now our gear it's useless to do pv so this is a really big problem for PV in 6.0, 6.0. For PVP, actually, <coughs> with my gear, I can deal even good damage with PV gear uh, to to every player in this patch. But also think about that this is a new server, it's a new patch, so people don't have a good gear because it's hard for everyone to to have a good gear in this patch at least if you don't pay so that's why uh, I could do some damage to, to people and, and enjoy PvP so as I told you uh, this is the problem in this patch have a tough time farming Kina a tough time farming enchant stones the big thumbs up for this patch it's that you have actually PvP open every day, every time, in every part of the map because everyone 
wanna do PvP quests because it's the only way to farm the the new PvP gear, to farm the new enchant stone, to also have fun. So everyone will do PvP open. Also me, that actually I don't even have a PvP gear in this uh, 5.8 patch. I will do a PvP gear because actually it's fun to do open PvP content and also because I need to to farm in 6.0 so big thumbs up to NCSoft for this because you force a PV hardcore player like me to do PvP so really good but actually you have to fix this Kina farming problem because uh, it's not fair at all I think that it will be a really difference about free to player uh, and uh, pay to win player too much is the different for this patch at least right now after two weeks playing uh, uh, iron 6.0 this is my feeling maybe in future i will change my mind because i start in doing pv content i starting mm, this enchant some good gear i starting feeling uh, rewarding more actually i'm it, it's good that uh, I'm starting from zero, so I have to build my new gear because on 5.8 I'm feeling um, boring. I, I don't have so much to do. Uh, I don't even log in sometimes uh, because actually we are in 5.8, um, 5.6 on EU. Actually, we are going to 5.8, but there's not so much to do in 5.8. I'm actually thinking about skipping 5.8, like most of you. Also because uh, actually on 6.0 uh, your gear it's like uh, useless so a uh, 2 days old player will have the same gear as you so it's not that fair uh, I, I really hope that Gameforge will do a fair exchange for the sets that actually we have because we spend money, we spend Kina, we spend uh, time to do uh, that gear and it's not fair that the, if it's useless on um, the day after so this is the fears I have for this patch but I think uh, this patch have a really high potential because actually you can farm in game everything you need but it's hard so I think that NCSoft need to to, to do this more fair as possible and also this is a really funny patch because you have pvp all day the siege is actually funny uh, again <coughs> pv it's funny because it's hard and this is what i ask from a game so this patch has everything you always and, and always asked to nc soft the only problem is the kina farm so i hope that this is will be fixed as soon as possible because it's a two weeks old patch so we don't know if something will change in future we have a lot of time before we getting on uh, on EU or on North America so maybe they fix something I hope so much uh, another topic that we have to talk about it's the gear actually on this patch I don't know the meta but uh, magic attack it's like the attack so you don't have a cap on magic boost so it's like uh, the attack in 5.6 and I don't know about the crit spell the crit spell it's really low on this patch at least for this an ancient uh, gear compared to the magic boost so I don't know if you have to focus on only on magic boost or also use a crit spell uh, Manstones. Actually, I don't really know. We will see later what will be the meta. Um, so <coughs> I also have to check about the PV damage because I increased a lot the um, my damage upgrading this orb at plus five. So I think this is the key to to do something in this patch because if you don't have a, an upgraded uh, weapon you are like likely useless so you have to focus about the weapon force first and then the jewels and the gear 
so that's about it guys uh, I hope that uh, you are starting not feeling sad uh, and uh, I hope that I don't break the the hype for this patch I actually still think that this is a really good patch hope they they fix this uh, Kina thing so um, if you have some question maybe I forgot something you can ask me in the comments if you like the video the video please press like and subscribe and uh, I hope to see you soon on my channel see you soon in the next video